Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm checking out a pilot for a show called Has Been Hotel. It's an animated series and it was the first one done by, um, forgive me if I say this wrong, Vivzy Pop. And I'll leave a link to their channel down below. So I've been getting a ton of requests to check this thing out and it appears to be exploding all over YouTube. So I thought, what the hell? I'm going to have a look. So this is the pilot episode. So please feel free to uh, come along on this journey with me and discover a new animation pilot episode. So I don't know if they're going to get another episode up. I'll be very curious to keep track, but um, yeah, let's take a look. Three, two, one, go. Spindle Horse presents. Or is it Spindle House? At the end of the rainbow, there's happiness. And to find it, how often I've tried. Well, I like the but opening. My life is a race, just a wild goose chase, and my dreams have all been denied. Why have I always been a failure? What I like the can the reason be? I'm really loving the use of the black and white here in the opening. Getting dark. I'm always chasing rainbows, watching clouds drifting by. Okay, so it looks like we're in hell. My schemes are just yep. like all my dreams, ending in the the animation. Use of color. Some fellows make a winning sometime. I never even make a game. Believe me. I'm always chasing rainbows. Waiting to find a little blue. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Uh, huh? Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? <laughs> Whatever you say, slut. <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, such an insult. Let me know when you come up with something creative to call me, you sack of poorly packaged horse shit. Tell the missus I said hi. Schnuck him. Back him. Put foam on What is dark and sassy? Yoink! Hey! A furious drag show! <laughs> oh my god! My drugs! Damn it! What a unique vision of hell. I like it. Those other cowardly sinners dare not hinder my territorial takeover. A wise decision. The power of my machines are unmatched. No other demon can compare to the likes of I. Gee, that was pretty swell. Boss? Yeah! You really showed them what for. I liked when you shot them with your ray gun. I wish he'd <laughs> shoot me with his ray gun. At this rate, I'm I will um, seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram like almost by like day's classic end. Looney Tunes and nothing, not a single beast in this Which infernal is not an suffering will be able all. to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. Be mine, and everybody will know the name of Sir Ben Lord. Pardon, who said that? 
What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Speak up! <laughs> that wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Fried chicken fetuses? Oh, is that a bomb? Yep. You looking for a fight? Old man. Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Good uh, afternoon, six, six, six I'm news. Katie Killjoy. And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. Cherry Bomb. After the recent spunky extermination, powerhouse. many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it, huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> You are a limp dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say, no dick. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here I'm to discuss to read her brand new passion project. The oh, messages down the bottom as well is a lot. Suck it up, you little bitch. <laughs> okay. You so I was cheating on his wife, calling her a fucking bitch and shit. Yes. Let's do this. Just look at me, and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Vaggy. I know what to say. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. Oh, what if I sing a song about it? You knew I was going to say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. She's the Disney princess. She's gonna oh, sing. The result to my impeccable improv skills. Improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Yeah, how's uh, how's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. <laughs> you might be some royal big shot, but that Motor doesn't mean shit weather. to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tux wearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I so don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. <laughs> Welcome back. So, Charlotte. Like the morning was. Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well, <clears throat> as most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see born the in hell? in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We, we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, Some isn't time. there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. <laughs> you know, because hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks, <laughs> you hear what she thinks? She <laughs> Oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards protection. Yay! Stupid bitch. 
<laughs> Look, every single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh no. Here she goes. I have a dream. I'm here to tell about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind right here in hell. Catering to a specific clientele. <laughs> Oh, cool. Every is a shiny smile Inside of every creepy hatchet welding maniac Is a jolly happy cupcake loving child We can turn them round They'll be heaven filled With just a little time Down at the happy hotel So all you junkies, freaks and weirdos Creepers, fuck-ups, cursed and zeros And I'm falling superheroes Oh, this is cool All of you cretins, slots and losers Sexual deviants and boozers And prescription drug abusers Right voice. So while you're caught in one addiction, see your ass for keep prediction, face your well and crucifixion, and right here, all you want is these and crazy cowboys and crying babies, coughing lovers full of babies, little witch here, you wanna make a witch, you wanna be so mean, or spread a baby beat, you'll be an easy thing, yeah, fine, we'll be free at the happy hotel. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, 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 <laughs> that was shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What in the nine circles makes you think a single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person? You have no proof that this little experiment even works. You want people to be good just because? Well, we have a patron already who believes in our cause and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? Oh, just someone named Angel Dust. The porn star? You fucking would, Tom. In any case, that's not even an accomplishment. I'm sure you can get that hooker to do anything with enough booger sugar and lube. Oh, booger I sugar. To differ. He's been behaved, clean, and out of trouble for two weeks now. Breaking news! We are receiving word that a new player has entered the ongoing turf war. Let's go to the live feed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. It looks like the one who just joined the battle is none other than porn actor Angel Dust. Oh. What a juicy coincidence! You must feel really stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yes. Don't look at this! Well, it sure looks like your little project is dead on arrival. Tell us, how does it feel to be such a total failure? <laughs> yeah, oh, no. how does it feel that I got your pen, huh? Bitch! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running away. Hey, thanks for the backup, Angie. <laughs> you kidding? This is the best action I've seen in ages. Where you been anyway? I thought you up and died or some shit. Oh, I wish. I've been staying at this crappy hotel on the other side of town. Some broads are letting me stay rent free if I play nice. Ah! <sighs> you know, no fights, no pranks, no problematic language. Her words, not mine. <laughs> Crazy oh, bitches no language. Fun. <laughs> been clean for two weeks. Holy shit. Well, sort of clean. As clean as you can get with a shitload of Bolivian marching powder. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Harder, daddy. Son. Son. <laughs> you whores have no class. In war, the side remembered is the side with the most. Style. Or the side that ain't dead. Speaking of style, is your hat like alive or something? Oh, well, that's none of your goddamn business. Now it's alive, it? it's got its own eye. That make your hat the top and you the bottom? Mm. <laughs> How's it going, 
going to Burn. blow you to bits! Hmm, kinky. Oh, not like that, pervert! <laughs> not so cocky now, are we? You know, you really gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. I've been making these sex jokes the whole time, and it's obvious you ain't catching on. I mean, it's just sex! So think you're gonna get in a lot of trouble for this? Eh, what's one little brawl gonna cause? <laughs> Absolute mayhem. Was that Elvis? You know you're my favorite guy to party with. You know it, sugar tits. You ready to finish this? Sugar tits. Born ready, baby. So our plans didn't go exactly to plan. What? 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 What were you doing? I owed my girl buddy a solid. Isn't that a redeeming quality? Helping friends with stuff? Not with turf wars that result in territorial <laughs> genocide. Eh, you win some, <laughs> you lose a few hundred. <laughs> it wasn't that bad anyway. Stop Come doing on, that. I had to. My credibility was on the line. I mean, what kind of reputation would I have if people found out I was trying to go clean? It just throws out my entire persona. Your credibility? What about the hotels? Your little stunt made us look like a fucking joke. <laughs> no, 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 babe. Jokes are funny. I made you look, uh, sad and pathetic. Like an orphan <laughs> with no arms <laughs> or legs. Uh, oh, with progeria! Great! Now I'm <laughs> bummed thinking about it. This thing have any liquor? Can you please just try to take this seriously? Fine, I'll try. Just don't get your taco in a twist, baby. Was that you trying to be sexist or racist? Whatever pisses you off more. Is there seriously no liquor <laughs> oh my God. in here? I'm gonna kill This is so inappropriate, I love it. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Would that make me double dead? <laughs> Where exactly do I go? To double hell? <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with me, bitch. Get used to it. Who's doing the voices, Listen, man? They sound so familiar. Who cares if some Jagoffs got hurt? Most of them are ugly freaks. Look around. You got a bunch of fucking Harlequin babies down you're here. You're one to talk. Hey! This body is flawless. Oh. Everyone wants some of me. And I got the creepy <laughs> fan that is to prove it. <laughs> That was really uncool, you know, Angel. Uncool? After that train wreck, there is no way anyone is gonna wanna stay at the hotel. All thanks to you and your selfish bullshit! Does that mean I don't have a free room anymore? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, shucks. Hey, come on. We don't know if things are over yet. Try to relax, Vaggy. It'll be okay. This is so good. Really enjoying it. I'm just twisted and wrong in every way. It's great. That's not like Looney Tunes at all. Melted pops. It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> this guy's a dick. Uh, The hotel is going to be a raging success. You watch. Hopefully. Hey, mom. Um. Hopefully, we'll see more. I know I keep calling, and uh, you must be busy, really busy. But um, the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, mom. I. I think Dad was right about me. <laughs> well, eh, anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Oh, she's so sweet. And she's a demon. Born in hell. Looks like a little cute puppy. Got somebody coming to stay? Mm -hmm. 
my god. I'm sorry, oh. I'm a joker. Oh. Hey, Baggy? What? The radio demon is at the door. What? Uh, who? What should I do? Uh, well, don't let him in. The radio demon. Is it for an interview? May I speak now? You may. Alistair, pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why, I haven't been back in the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> so many orphans. Stop right there. Cabron, hijo de perra. I know your game. And I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone here, you pompous, cheesy talk show shit lord. Dear, if I <laughs> wanted to hurt anyone here, I would have is done amazing. so already. Oh my god. Now, I'm here creepy. because I want to help. To say what now? Help! <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? Testing? Testing! Well, I heard you loud and clear. Um, you want to help? What's this ridiculous thing you're trying to do? This hotel! I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> Why does anyone do anything? Sheer, absolute boredom! I've lacked inspiration <laughs> for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless! I've come to crave a new form of entertainment! <laughs> Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> it's the purest kind, my dear. Reality! True passion! After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. So, does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate a demon? <laughs> of course not! That's wacky nonsense! Redemption! Oh, the non-existent humanity! No, 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 no! I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners! The chance given was the life they lived before! The punishment is this! There is no undoing what is done! So then, why do you want to help me if you don't like believe this in guy. my cause? Considered an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the, the world struggle to climb amazing. up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. Why, he goes dark, man. He, he, he gets right. Yes, indeedy. I see big things coming your way, and who better to help you than I? Uh, so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The Radio Demon, one of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Eh, not big on politics. Ugh. Decades ago, Alistair manifested in Hell, seemingly overnight. He began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then, he broadcast his carnage all throughout Hell, just so everyone could witness his ability. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon. As lazy as that is. Many have speculated what unimaginable force enabled him this to great. rival our world's most ancient and destructive evils. But one thing's for sure. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we want to end up erased. You done? <laughs> he looks That's like a dramatic. strawberry pimp. Well, Strawberry. I don't trust him. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men? Charlie, listen to me. You can't believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He's a deal maker. Pure evil. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... We don't know that. Look, I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to give people a chance. To have faith things will be better. Are parents? How can I turn someone away? I can't. It goes against everything I'm trying to do. Everything I believe in. Just trust me. I can take care of myself. Charlie, whatever you do, do not make a deal with him. Don't worry. I picked up one thing from my dad. You don't take shit from other demons. Okay. okay so he's like so bad. Now, you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying to do here <laughs> as a joke. 
but I don't. <laughs> Sketchy as fuck. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove they can be better, so I'm taking your offer to help. On the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then. Nope, no shaking. Don't no do deals. it. I. Hmm. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for princess as long hell? as you desire. She's the princess of hell. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. Cool beans. I love the dialogue. Smile, my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. <laughs> Great advice. So where is your hotel staff? Uh, well... Oh, you're <laughs> going to need more than that. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck your dick. Ha! No. <laughs> Your loss. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. What the fuck is this? It's a minion. This little darling is nifty. Hi, I'm Nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I didn't mean I'm here! I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is filthy. It really needs a lady's touch. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my gosh, this is awful! Nope, 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 uh, nope. <laughs> Very efficient. Freedom and weep, boys. Oh. <laughs> Tell? What the fuck is this? <laughs> you. Ah, Husker, my good friend! Glad you could make it! Don't you Husker me, you son of a bitch! I was about to win the whole damn pot! Good to see you two! What the hell do you want with me this time? My friend, I am doing some charity work, so I took it upon myself to volunteer your services. I hope that's okay. Are you shitting me? Hmm. No, I don't think so. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no fucking charity job. Well, I figured you would be the perfect face to man the front desk of this fine establishment. With your charming oh, smile man. and welcoming energy, this job was made for He's you. Concierge. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. What? You think cheap you can booze. buy me with a wink and some cheap booze? Well, you can! Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! No, no bar, no alcohol. This is supposed to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of mouth brothel man king. Shut up! Shut up! We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. Only if you watch <laughs> me. Oh my gosh! Welcome to the Happy Hotel! You are going to love it here! I lost the ability to love years ago. So, what do you think? This is amazing! It's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining! Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Have a dream. Oh, another you song. To tell. <laughs> and it's just laughable, but hey kid, what the hell? Cause you're one of a kind, the charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys! <laughs> Inside of every demon is a lost cause. <laughs> but we'll dress them up for now with just a smile. With some old redemption flair And show these simpletons some proper class and style Oh, here below the ground I'm sure your plan is sound They'll spend a little time Down at this has-been home Has-been hotel Has-been hotel Well, well, well Oh, this guy again is harboring the striped freak We meet yet again, Alistair Do I know you? Oh, yes, you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. I'm so evil. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. At the end of that guy? Well, I'm starved. Who wants some jambalaya? My mother once showed me a wonderful recipe for jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, I'm on a roll. Yes, sir, this is the start of some real changes down here. The game is set. You are happy, hotel. Stay has tuned. <laughs> the has been hotel. Oh wow! That was amazing! Oh, I love this song. Vivian Madrano. Wow, man. Hell of a lot of people made this thing. Oh, this is cool, man. Oh, the stinger. Now will you shoot me with your ray gun? <sighs> He lives. Barely. Wow, that was incredible, man. So that was the pilot. So as a pilot, usually when you see a pilot, it kind of like is just setting up the world for the series to come, introducing you to the characters, laying down some of the lore and just kind of introducing you to everything. And sometimes like I've been watching TV series for years and the pilot episode is not necessarily the best episode of that show. Like Buffy, for instance, the pilot episode of Buffy, well, they made one, then recast Willow with Alison Hannigan and, and reshot it. But that first pilot episode wasn't necessarily the best episode. There was so much more to come. You watch that pilot and you're like, oh, that's okay, I'll give it a chance, and then the, the show grows. But for a pilot episode of this animation that we just saw just then was wonderful. That was so cool. It set the tone, set the mood, introduced the world, the characters, and was a hell of a good time, like, pardon the pun. It was so much fun. So just like the quote that we got here, so animation is basically not so much a technical implement as the expression of the spirit behind it. To see that that spirit goes into your shooting must be your overriding ambition. So Lottie Reiniger, and this is from Vivian Madrano. Thank you to each and every person who helped make this project happen. I never imagined when I started this pilot that it would become this grand or this realized. I cannot express the joy it has been to work with so many amazing talents from all over the connected world. To everyone who took it as seriously as I did and followed me into this crazy chaotic world from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all, Viv. Man, that was that was incredible. So this thing is exploding all over YouTube and for good reason. It's amazing. So thank you to the guys who recommended I check this out. That was so much fun. The, the music was great. The vocal talent was on point. The writing, the delivery, the animation. That was wonderful. I really, I really had a good time watching that. So moving forward, I'd like to see this series continue. Um, I'll keep track on it to see what is actually happening or if you can give me some feedback in the comments down below to see how Vivian and the crew are progressing with their amazing series. But that was cool. Thank you so much. That was fun. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.